Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got an interesting one for you today. We've got some infographics. If you look at the purple section coming up down from below, as soon as it gets to the top, we've got one little section that's going to appear. You can keep scroll scrolling down the background. As you can see the background scrolling, it's going to disappear up the top. When it disappears, we've got a new one coming in. We're still scrolling down the site. When that one disappears, we got a third one coming in. And as you scroll back up the site, this one's going to disappear. The next one's going to come in. And the same with our first one. And that's a great, interesting little effect to have on your desktop site. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. OK, well, I'm going to add a new section. We'll start right here. Little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section. Inside, I'm going to put a row with three columns. And obviously, you can style yours however you want. I think I use a call to action and I'll do something with that in a moment. In the next one, I think I use a pricing table. And I only want one, so I'm going to delete the second one there. And in the third one, I think I use a little blurb module. Okay, let's get this how we want it. I'm going to save the changes to that. I'm actually going to go into the row itself. Green tab for the row, blue for a section, dark for a module. I'm going to go into the row and I'm going to give it a background. Just give it a blue background so we can actually see the thing. And let's give it a bit of padding all around. I'm going to go design and spacing. And let's perhaps give it 50 pixels all around. Just put in the 50, it'll put in the picks, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. That way we've got a little padding around the sides, it's not stuffed up against the edge there. Okay, well let's make our thing, I don't want any gaps between my little modules here, so I'm going to take the guttering away. If I close up spacing, I'm going to go up to sizing just above, I'm going to use custom gutter width, and I'm going to pull that all the way to the left down to one. As you can see, those little modules are touching each other now. That's fine for me. OK, well, let's make this a bit more of an interesting shape. I'm going to do that using border radius. So if we go into border down below, I'm going to uncheck this little chain here. Top one, let's say, give that 20 picks. Next one, let's give it a crazy value, 350 picks. So it's got a real curve on it, as you can see. And this one will give another lower value, let's say 50. And this one, let's go even crazier. Let's make it 400. So we've got a kind of interesting shape there. But you may have noticed my image is getting cut off here. I'm going to put some kind of image in there. And I kind of like it to stick out over. So to make sure it's going to stick out over, we need to go over to our advanced, still in the row module down to visibility and this is vertical overflow right here so I want to enable the vertical overflow so it can be seen so I'll say visible great well let's save our changes here and as I hover over there you can see that's become visible let's actually go into here and put a little infographic in so I'm going to leave the text and everything just as it would be normally. Put in whatever info you want to put in yours. Image and icon. Let's find a nice little graphic that's going to fit this. Let's use that one right there. Great. As you can see, that's popping out there. Fantastic. OK, actually, let's make that text light in color. Just going to go down to text under design. I'm going to flip the dark to light. 
I will just give it a little padding on the left hand side just to put it away from our pricing table there. So still in design, let's go down to sizing, spacing, and I'm just going to give it say 30 pixels on the left. There, that works perfectly. Fantastic. Okay, well I'm fairly happy with that. Let's save our changes. Let's go back into the row. I'm going to give it a bit of box shadow and to make this work today, I'm going to give it a lot of space on the bottom. So I'm going to go into the row, into design, I'm going to pop a bit of box shadow on the bottom. This first one right here I think will do for me, a little box shadow there. And I'm going to go into spacing and on margin on the bottom I'm going to give it a hundred viewable height which will be the whole of the screen width there which will give it a gap on the bottom. So I'm going to say 100 VH. If I roll down there should be a lot of white space below there about the same as a screen. Yeah perfect. Great well that's going to work for us. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have this row actually stick to the top of this section when it goes up so it'll stay there when we roll down. To do that we need to go over to advanced to scroll effects sticky position. I'm going to say stick to top. Now if I roll up the page here it's going to stay there as I'm rolling down. You can't really tell it's rolling down. That's why I'm going to put a background in in a minute so you can tell that it's rolling down the site here. Now I don't want it to stick right to the top. I want about 80 pixels I think. So I've got sticky top offset here. Let's just pop 80 in there. In fact 60 will probably do it. As you can see that pop that down a bit. Fantastic. Well, that seems to be working. So we've got our first one here. Now that we've got this working the way we want, I don't actually want to see it until it sticks to the top there like that. And we can achieve that really easily. Again, let's go back into the row. I'm going to go down to design, roll on down to filters. We've got opacity here, which is which is the amount you can see through it. Now we've got this sticky, we've got a little pin right there. Now you're not going to have that unless you're working with a sticky element that you've made sticky over in the advanced there. So we've got a little pin. When it's not sticky, the desktop version here, don't want to see it at all. When it is sticky, click on the little pin. I want it to be fully visible. So it's going to be visible and it'll be invisible when we're not sticking to it. Okay. And when it gets to the bottom of this section, I want it to move on up, stop being sticky. So if we go back over to the advanced and to scroll effects here, bottom sticky limit, I'm going to set that to section. So if I save this now and roll on up, it's sticky, sticky, sticky. When the bottom of the section comes up, it's going to start rolling up like a regular section. Fantastic. Well, what I want to do now is duplicate this section twice. Blue tab for the section. You can't see it because it's not sticky, but we are in the right section. Two little squares to duplicate. I'm going to click once for once. One more time and we should have two. So here's our first section. If I roll on down, Here's our second section coming up. There's our second module, just so we can tell the difference. Let's change the background. Obviously, you're going to want to change the content within your little info sections here. I'm just going to change the background to a different color so we can discern between the different ones. And let's roll on down one more time. And here's our next one and we'll give it a different background color. Down the background and let's make this one a little pink one like that. Great. So if I roll back up you'll be able to see the differences now. There's the purple one and there's the blue one. But we can't really see 
that we're scrolling down the page. So to make this happen, I'm going to go to my top section. Here it is right here. I'm going to go into the section itself. You could put a background image and connect it with the next sections down below if you wanted to do something like that. I'm going to actually use a divider for the top. I'm just going to use a big pointed one. I'm going to make it purple in color. Let's take that color down. I'm going to click on the color there. Take the opacity down a little bit so it's a little bit more subtle. Then height wise I'm going to make it crazy deep. Let's make it 1500 pixels perhaps. Just put in the 15. It'll put it in pics for you. Now you can see that we're scrolling behind there. May not be deep enough. And to continue the effect what I'm going to do is go to our third section there there's the third section is the pink one let's just save this and i'm going to do the reverse on our third section here we go into design and dividers for the bottom for this one let's add something like perhaps this one and again i'm going to give it a crazy value let's make it 1500 and let's perhaps make it blue this time again i'm going to click on the color and take the opacity down a little bit not sure that's going to be high enough because i want them to be connecting really yeah that needs to be a lot deeper so we're missing a bit in the middle there so I'll actually make this 2500 go crazy with it and the top one will do similar. It's reaching up. Yeah, that's not too bad. The top one again. We'll make it 25, I think. That's going to make it a lot deeper. We can see it rolling down for that one. And we can still see it rolling for our next lot there it is right there and that's a great little effect so let's save our changes make sure this is all going to work on the front end we'll exit the visual builder so here we go there's our little purple section when it gets to the top our first info is going to go in there we're scrolling down the site when it gets to the top the next one's going to pop in we're still scrolling down the site that background scrolling away and there's our third one and we can roll back up and it'll do exactly the same thing and that's a great little thing especially for your desktop site I'm not sure I'd have it on a tablet or mobile site purely because of the amount of information in there probably have to arrange something slightly different for those two but for your desktop site that's going to give them a nice user experience people are scrolling around your site and something like that happens it tends to get their attention pretty quickly which is what you want so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.